full moon out there tonight, Harvest Moon, and our photographer Pat Geiler shot these wow. beautiful pictures. That is a great, great shot. And this is not just your ordinary no. full Harvest Moon, as you mentioned, Friday the 13th. This is pretty rare, Eric. Well, you know, you put all the things together, right? All right, so we have a full moon. We've got a moon at Apogee, which is its farthest point in its orbit, and it's on Friday the 13th. So when you have, like, a confluence of all those things together at the same time, it'll be 505 years from tonight. Now, it looks just like any other full moon, but nevertheless, they're all beautiful, right? It's an opportunity. Whenever you can talk about it, it gets people looking up, and that's kind of the goal here. Great full moon picture from Whaleback Light in New Hampshire tonight. Rob Wright, who always sends beautiful pictures from that area. And this one from Meg O'Leary, Sandy Neck, over in Barnstable this evening, coming up over the dunes. Bright orange color there and a nice night, although quite cool in some spots. Down to 42 degrees in Taunton right now. Concord's at 47, dry air in place. We won't fall back too much more as the wind's going to start to go more southerly late tonight and start to usher back some of that milder air again. Still very warm across much of the Ohio Valley in the southeast. And we'll see some 80s returning here this weekend. Hard to think about that when it's so cool out there tonight. Also watching this line of showers and downpours to the west that will arrive here late in the day tomorrow. So you'll wake up early, heading out in the morning, 40s to low 50s, really chilly out there. You see your breath if you're up around sunrise. By midday, a lot of clouds building in the upper 60s, and we do hit the 70s during the afternoon, even with an abundance of cloud cover. So if you want some sun, I think the morning hours will provide most of it. And then as the day progresses, the clouds are really going to dominate. I would say our brightest skies are likely toward the Cape, the islands, and the south coast, and our grayest skies are likely across the interior. We head toward late afternoon, some scattered showers start developing, and then especially evening and overnight, some scattered showers and a couple of downpours are likely, and they should exit Cape Cod by 8 o'clock on Sunday morning. So some clearing skies will rapidly move in. As for the dry air, it starts to give up its ground, and as we head into tomorrow afternoon, the dew points climb into the 50s and 60s. It'll be pretty muggy out there tomorrow night, and then the humid air will move right back out during the day on Sunday. So tomorrow's highs, even again with the clouds, low to mid-70s for most of the area. The coolest in central mass, especially some of the higher elevations. If you're heading out to Billy Joel at Fenway Park tomorrow night, I would bring the rain gear. There is a chance for a passing shower or downpour. Then on Sunday, as skies clear, low 80s around the Boston area, some 70s in central mass in southwestern New Hampshire, and 70s on the Cape, but a warm, summery day to finish off the weekend. For heading out west to West Springfield, the Big E started today. It was a perfect day for it. There is a chance of showers there tomorrow. Looks like a dry day on Sunday and a warm one at that. Mention we have a new tropical storm. So this is the one that we've been watching over the last couple of days. It's still quite disorganized. There's a lot of wind shear on this one. But it's now tropical storm Umberto. 40 mile per hour winds. It's kind of just reorganizing. The good news is the worst of this is off to the north and east of the Bahamas. And with that track, they've now dropped tropical storm watches for Florida. Looks like this is going to stay off to the east of the coastline over the next few days and then head out into the Atlantic. And as it does so, it'll head over toward Bermuda. And that would be around midweek. So if you have a cruise planned or you know anyone in Bermuda, we'll have to watch exactly how this storm develops. It'll be offshore as we make our way into next week. And we'll watch to see if it tries to hook back a little closer to New England. Right now, that seems unlikely. So next week's forecast really looks great. Comfortable air. There is a chance for a couple showers trying to pop up on Monday. David and Lisa, back to you. All right, Eric, thank you.